Here we go. Hola amigos, Jim and Mai here from Spanish and Go. Sorry we're late. We just released a video talking about how the internet's pretty good here and... Well, did we mention that in the video? Maybe we didn't. Uh, maybe we didn't. <laughs> I, think, I think the internet is usually good and we probably said that it's usually good, except for any time we do a live video. So, yeah. um, are we coming through okay? Let us know if the audio is good, the video is good, you can see us, you can hear us, there's no weird okay. stuff going on. Can I, can I get like a thumbs up or something in the, in the comments? And actually, uh, let us know where you're tuning in from. That would be awesome. It's always <laughs> fun to see where you're watching from. Oh, we're watching. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh. <laughs> Chocolas. All right. <laughs> Did you know that one? Chocolas. High five. High five. <laughs> I'm going to write it here in the chat. Chocolas. Yeah, Maya and I just had a few updates. There's a lot going on. And I feel like we've been sort of absent from YouTube um, prior to <laughs> maybe this week or or last week because we had our first retreat in Guanajuato and then that went so well that we're like oh we should figure out how to do more of these we should plan more we should get like a whole system going and so we've been working a lot on that in the back end the good news is that's pretty much laid out I mean like we've at least the one for Guanajuato is Right, yeah, we've got another coming up. We're planning on some other ones uh, that we're not ready to announce yet. But it has been a lot of behind the scenes stuff and uh, Maya and I have made a promise to each other for you guys to be more consistent. We want more videos out uh, to, to help teach you Spanish, to show you cool places and all that stuff, right Maya? <laughs> So, we, uh, we just got back from Rincón, which yes. is a cool little town. What did you think, Mai? I really like it. There, uh, getting back here was a little difficult because on Thursdays there is something called the um, Art Walk in downtown Rincón, so it was packed. It was mm -hmm. so busy. We took a, a wrong turn and then we ended up in the middle of everything and we're like, oh, we have to get home because Bump, bumper to be, bumper traffic. <laughs> yeah, we thought we were gonna be super late for the um, live video and mm -hmm. we made it. Awesome. <laughs> Looks like we're coming through well. Uh, New Hampshire, Richard, saludos. Thanks oh, for tuning in. We got a bunch a of, people. of people. Sí. Alto. Um, so we're gonna do a Q and A. Uh, we should right leave that after. To the yeah, yes. yeah. Um, after all the announcements. Um, so if you have any questions about traveling, about uh, learning Spanish, about Puerto Rico, there's a lot of people from Puerto Rico here tuning in. So mm -hmm. thank you. Maybe you guys can help us answer the questions anybody has yeah. um, about Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can type your questions whenever, but we have a few things we're gonna go over, so it would probably be easier us, easy, easier for us to get to your questions uh, if you hold off a little bit towards the end here. Okay. So yeah. uh, we have a few things off the top of my head. We literally just got back. We we're worried like, okay, are we gonna be able to uh, get this, this live <laughs> on time? Um, and then we were having internet trouble. So the things we wanna talk about. Um, we're not going to be here for much longer, meaning the apartment. That's kind we're of- We're moving. We're yeah. moving, yeah. <laughs> so we'll get to that. Um, we are planning to have a meetup here in Puerto Rico. So if you're on the island, uh, we'll tell you about that in a minute. This and, weekend. Yes, this weekend, this Saturday. Uh, and then the other thing was we wanted to talk about our next retreat. We have a and special a travel promo, mm. yeah, and a few travel-related oh. stuff, yeah, some mm -hmm. updates. So, where do we start, Mai? Uh, we're not gonna be in Puerto Rico. Yeah. <laughs> we we did the why we moved to Puerto Rico video, and now it's why we're moving away from Puerto Rico. No, I'm kidding. We we're not leaving Puerto Rico in the sense that we're not coming back. We will be traveling for a few months this summer, and so we're here for about another week. Um, our lease at this apartment is up. I've been talking too much. You go. It's up at the end of this month. Uh, but we have a conference we're going to in Boston. 
Um, that's TravelCon. We're really excited for that one. Um, it's about travel-related um, businesses. Um, we go there to connect with other um, travel travel bloggers, travel um, bloggers. bloggers, writers, and um, influencers, and all of that. So that's going to be really fun. And right after that, we are going to Mexico City for a few weeks. We're still like uh, two weeks, three weeks. We don't know um, exactly, but a couple of weeks there we have a few uh, projects that we want to finish there, a few meetings. Um, and then we're going to Guadalajara. Yes. Guadalajara for another maybe couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And then it's my birthday. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have a huge celebration. I'm gonna be 30. <laughs> the end of your 20s <laughs> yes um, and then what we're thinking about going to another country that's right we don't know where yet where do you guys think we should go yeah let us know in the comments because we're not a hundred percent sure I would really like to go to Spain me too we've talked about Ecuador we've talked about Colombia um, so yeah we'll see that's coming up soon I just want to say there are so many videos we want to do and plan to do in Puerto Rico, but we just can't do it all before we go. And so kind of part of this plan to be more consistent in that we have to figure out a way to uh, get, get more content out faster for you guys. And me being a perfectionist, that's really difficult, especially in the editing process. Um, but we've got a lot of really good stuff coming up for you guys from both Puerto Rico and Mexico and um, class related stuff like lesson mm -hmm. uh, les le lesson stuff and um, what am I trying to say I can't speak tonight we've been speaking Spanish all day and now I can't speak <laughs> English uh, yeah stuff to help with you with your Spanish and to help you travel you know this thing that the channel is all about right so yeah good stuff so that's one order of business. Uh -huh. And so when we come back, we're thinking about uh, spending a few months outside of Puerto Rico, but then we're going to come back in maybe... We're thinking November. November. Yep. Um, but still, we're always like uh, planning last yeah. minute, so... <laughs> right. And even though we're pl planning last minute, we have an order to things. Yes because we have to be back in the U.S. for a certain amount of time uh, for my immigration, and so we can't mess that up. We'll definitely be back here in Puerto Rico. We haven't even considered any other part of the United States. Puerto Rico just feels like the best place for us to be right now. So uh, we will be back, so, so don't worry about that. And we have more Puerto Rico videos before we leave and probably maybe a couple after we leave. <laughs> yes, I think we're going to be in Mexico and we're going to be releasing uh, like the vlog we recorded today. I don't think it's going to be out until we're in Mexico. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, because we have one, we went to um, Cabo Rojo. Maybe we talked about this in another live video. We did one at the uh, Heladeria Lares uh, where we went and tried some really interesting ice cream flavors. <laughs> Uh, so we have that too that we haven't finished um, editing so lots of things mm -hmm. um, but then when we come back in November we don't know where um, we're gonna be living on the island so we're still looking at places uh, where we would like to spend a few months but we haven't decided we want to be closer to um, San Juan Closer to an international Closer airport. Closer to the airport, yes. Um, so we don't know, maybe Aguadilla. Arecibo, Arecibo looks really interesting to me. Then when we would be close to, or somewhat close to two international mm -hmm. airports. So the people from Puerto Rico here, if you, if you have any suggestions on like... Where we should move to? Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to say cool places, but we're really, we don't want to be like in the middle of like, all the like vacation things right like, yeah we try not to stay in like overly touristy places uh, a number of people have said oh Boqueron that's like where all the tourists go or at least like 
Puerto Rican tourists. Yeah, but we it, don't mind like the Puerto Rican tourists, right? right? That's cool. Yeah, we want to be surrounded uh, by the Puerto Rican people and learn about the culture here. So yeah. we're looking for that. But to me, a lot of tourism takes place in San Juan. Like yeah, a lot of so. people who come from the States only get to know San Juan and maybe El Junque if they had a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. But if you come here on a cruise ship, which is not the best way to visit Puerto Rico in my opinion, uh, you're not going to see a whole lot. So that's where all the tourists are, the way I see it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Rincon too, maybe. We saw a lot of um, foreigners. Yeah. So the big requirements for us is, are that we are close to an international airport and um, somewhat close to, I guess, a major city because it makes it easier to go and collaborate and meet people uh, and, and make more videos. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a few suggestions here. Okay. Uh, let's see, Isabella, Maria, Isabella. Carolina, we actually spent some time in Carolina yeah, uh, our first time in Puerto Rico, we were there for five weeks. Yeah, right before um, Huracan Maria, mm -hmm. uh, and it was it was it was okay. That's an yeah, option. Yeah, yeah, that's an option. Carolina, uh, Dorado, Rincón. We were just there. We were just there. Rincón. It's it's a cool little town for sure. Yeah. There there are more people who look like me than maybe I'd I'd prefer, but you know, I guess when. We're traveling to Spanish-speaking countries. I always like to be surrounded by Spanish-speaking people. There's a lot of English speakers there, but uh, that's not, you know, all a bad thing. It's a cool town. There's a lot going on. There's a cool brewery. Uh, things you'll see in our upcoming video. Don't want to ruin that. Jatillo, <laughs> uh, it's a nice town, um, Carlos. It says. Uh, okay, Ponce. Ponce. All right. yeah, Caguas. Mm -hmm. Caguas. Caguas. Yeah, we're not too far away from Ponce, but yeah. that wouldn't be too bad because it's only... Ponce. How far away is Ponce from like San Juan? Is that like 40 minutes? 45? Maybe a little longer? Mm, An hour? Yeah, I think longer, yeah. yeah. I don't know, Ponce okay. maybe, San Sebastian. Okay. See. Well. Cool, well thanks for the tips. We've got a lot of places to check out, it mm -hmm. looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, and we missed the suggestions for where we should... Uh, what other country we should go to this. I said Montevideo. Oh. I said Uruguay. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'd be down. <laughs> Panama. Especially, especially in the summer, it would be winter Montevideo. there. Montevideo. Right? Yeah. <gasps> yes. That's that's also another reason why we wanted to uh, be away from Puerto Rico at this time of the year. It's getting so hot. Yeah. Like I'm yeah. used to the heat and the humidity. Sorry for the noise outside. Yeah. Um, I'm really used to it, but it feels like today I was melting in the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really hot. And it's only going to get hotter. Excuse me, I'm trying to have a live video over here. Can you guys hear that? You have to. <laughs> right next to the highway. It's like the main road through Bolquerón. All right. So we talked about where we're moving. Um, I think probably next order of business would be we have a meetup. We've gotten a lot of requests to have a meetup uh, in Puerto Rico and now we're finally hosting one. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I had time to put the link in the bio. Okay, um, right after this, is, this video is over, we will make a Facebook invite link, we'll make a Facebook event and then I'll put the invite link in the description of this video. So if you want to join, we want you to RSVP because we just want to give, get an idea of how many people will be there. We've heard a lot of people talk about all the different places we should have a meetup in Puerto Rico. Unfortunately, we don't have time to do more than probably one before we go. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to have to be in San Juan. It just makes more, the most sense considering you know where most of the people are on the island. So that's going to be this Saturday and it's going to be where? Café Don Ruiz. It's uh, in Old San Juan. It's in the, in a museum. Um, yeah. I'm so bad, I'm sorry. I think it's the uh, Museo de Historia Latinoamericana. Yeah. Museo de Historia Americana. Something like that. Sorry. Well, 
we'll leave the the directions or mm -hmm. all the info in the link of uh, in the description of this video right after the video so um, I just have to make the event quick and then invite everyone mm -hmm. trying to figure out what the best way to go about inviting um, an undefined number of people uh, to an event like this would be but probably a Facebook yeah. event would be the way to go mm -hmm. so, so yeah if you want to come say hi we're gonna be there for a couple of hours from like 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah you should come say hi be great to meet you so if you if you think you can make it I would love to see uh, just leave us a comment um, I want to see I don't know if you know five people will show up or ten people or or more so it'll be cool it'll be cool to meet you guys and we we're talking about doing a little video where if we get enough people there who um, who would want to be in a video uh, we were thinking about doing a video about diversity in Puerto Rico we've noticed there's a lot of different people in Puerto Rico a lot I of, love that yes. yeah oh me too absolutely yes. every time we go out it's like some Puerto Ricans who look just like Jim and some of them who look like me and then you have the Afro uh, people and then some of them look a little bit um, Asiaticos, mm -hmm. um, Asian mm -hmm. uh, and then you have the red hair with uh, freckles and it's all so diverse like Mexico it's a very diverse country too but here it's just like another level mm -hmm. and yeah that's really amazing and, and we really like that yeah mm -hmm. so again if you want to be in a video if you've got uh, some unique looking friends who would want to be in videos who are from Puerto Rico I uh, invite them to come along and we'll see if we can make a video that'd be fun mm -hmm. <laughs> next up so yeah again we'll leave the details in the description stay tuned for that and then the next thing we have Oh, and just kind of all over the place. I think we might be able to make an event from our Facebook page. And that way, if you miss the link here, you could go to our Facebook page, Spanish and Go, on Facebook, and we should be able to link to it there. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. The last and final thing, we have our Guanajuato retreat in the fall and we have a promotion going on right now. It's the best offer we have yet. I think I may have linked to it in the description of this video already. If not, I will right after this video. So if you're watching the replay, it'll already be there. But the offer actually ends tonight. And if you wanna join us in Guanajuato City this fall, now's your time to get in. Um, it's going to be a blast. Our first retreat was so much fun we received raving reviews from the the first group los Piero, pioneros the pioneers we like to call them um, and we know that this next one is going to be even better because we'll have the experience of actually having hosted one okay. already so if you want to improve your spanish get to know mexico try the food uh, it's it's a really unique uh, immersion experience that we've created and we think it's one of the best out there so you should yeah. come yeah <laughs> anything else uh, those are the main things else. yeah i think that's it i think that's it yeah let's open it up to q a questions where is the meetup uh black ninja it's gonna be in cafe don ruiz yeah. it's somebody Jairo, Jairo uh -huh. said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got it there. Yeah, it's right there. Cafe Don Ruiz. It's gonna be this Saturday at 11 mm -hmm. a.m. So yeah. hope to see you there. How is the gay culture in Puerto Rico? Actually, okay. So there was uh, yes. Pride Pride Day. Pride. Pride. It was weekend, right? It was like yeah. all weekend. There was mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. people coming through with um, pride flags. Is that is that what they're called? I'm not sure. Yeah. The rainbow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it seems like there is a pretty decent presence. We didn't go downtown that day, and we wanted to. Oftentimes we want to do things when we're stuck inside editing, but there was a big Pride event. It was uh, huge. I think it's like one of the biggest events here in Boqueron um, of like the year. 
um, there's different um, shows they have live music and we just we kept seeing like the traffic to downtown was non-stop from mm -hmm. like 10 a.m. till late at night yeah. it was I don't know how many cars uh, could fit in the little town of Boqueron but the traffic was just yeah. constant and so we were like yeah I don't know we were working here so we we couldn't make it but um, yeah yeah lots of people yeah in so. terms of the attitude around um, oh, gay uh, gay culture I'd I, we don't really know. I guess we haven't really talked to anyone about it. But if that event is any indication of, of how receptive mm -hmm. Puerto Rico is uh, to um, gay culture and, and, and pride and all that, uh, it seems like it went well. I mean, we didn't hear about any sort of incidents, incidences or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, no, so. and I think this, this year was the 17th uh, year that they have been doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, other questions? Questions. Let's How see long did it take you to learn your R's? Oh, okay. Uh, Lauren asks, How long did it take you to learn to roll your R's? Whoa! Melvin! Ah, Melvin! Thank you so much! <laughs> Muchas gracias! Wow, thank you so much! Uh, let me finish Lauren's question. We'll get right to yours, Melvin. So thank you so much for the super chat. But, uh, Lauren, to answer your question, how long did it take me? I think I could roll my R's for ever since I could remember, I think. But the hard thing for me was the difference between the hard R and the soft R. Mm -hmm. The R or just like caro. <laughs> you sounded yeah, like, yeah, I, know. <laughs> like I sound like song. a Latin trap music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think I could always do it uh, ever since I can remember, but uh, the different the difference between the hard and the soft are, are still sometimes tricky. I mean, they're just and kind we, of nuanced. So. We have a video about that too. There are um, we talk about some methods that could help you. I don't know if you have watched that video, Lauren, but um, yeah, not not everyone knows or is able to roll their R's, and um, sometimes you just have to practice. And it might sound. Um, I don't know, ridiculous yeah. <laughs> to you, but you just have to practice and be perro, 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 carro, yeah. carro, and then your tongue is gonna be like, oh, fine, I, I guess yeah. I'll do it, and then, yeah, it's gonna right. come to you. Unless you have like a, um, uh, like a... A tongue tie. Yeah. There are physical conditions, right, uh, medical conditions mm -hmm. that prevent some people from actually being able to roll their R's, yes. but it's very rare. So yes. don't give up, don't think that it's genetic or any of the other myths that there are out there surrounding mm. the ability to roll your R, you could do it. It just takes some practice, you'll figure it out. It'll be like blowing a bubble from bubble gum. It's just like, you have to kind of figure out how to do it, and then after that, you're good. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was Melvin. I just want to clarify what Melvin did there. That was a super chat. He donated to the cause of uh, helping us create videos, and that is so awesome. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Thank you, Melvin. If you have any question, yeah, just let us know here and we'll answer it for you. Thank you again. Yeah, that means a lot. Uh, and it really helps because this is, this is our full time gig, guys. I don't know. Sometimes we get the question what do you guys do for a living? And I sometimes just want to put like a live cam on all day of what we're doing here is like pretty much editing and preparing content. Um, yeah, brainstorming, planning, filming, editing, yeah. doing it over and over and over again. Okay, uh, we have more questions. Well, is, this, is it a question technically? Uh, I'm learning, so if I were to go, I could learn more and immerse myself more, but I should spend that money elsewhere, like, should I travel through Mexico for that price? I don't know if that price is good or bad. Um, Espanol asked, uh, okay, so... Is this about the immersion? That, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, if you should go with us on the trip or if you should just travel through Mexico. That's totally up to you. Uh, coming with us, you'll have somebody to hold your hand, 
It's a great way to warm up to the idea of traveling through Mexico. You can certainly travel through Mexico fairly cheaply. Uh, there's a lot of uh, affordable transportation that'll take you almost anywhere in the country, mm -hmm. either flying or by bus. Mm -hmm. uh, plane tickets are cheaper within Mexico, bus tickets are cheaper than Greyhound ch tickets are in the US, and they're better. We yes. know firsthand, at least from our one Greyhound uh, bus experience in mm -hmm. the US, Mexican buses are way better. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, Greyhound, if you're watching yeah, Transportation this. in Mexico is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, what do you get from going on a retreat with us? We have lessons like every single day. There is a group lesson and this second time we're going to divide the group in two. Um, groups depending on the level of the students so you're gonna have another extra lesson with just the people who are in your same level who are maybe beginner or intermediate or advanced and so it's gonna be even more um, learning and also when you're traveling on your own you might be saying something wrong your whole time in this country and nobody's going to correct you and you're gonna think that Oh, this is how you say it because I say it like this and people um, answer or I get whatever I need so I, mu I must be saying it right and you really don't know until somebody shows you the right way to ask for things and to answer questions and so you're gonna get all that with us plus the cultural experience we're going to Guanajuato if you have been following us for a while you know how much we love Guanajuato. Guanajuato is just so beautiful, one of the most beautiful cities in Mexico and history there is just, it's very rich in culture, in history, the food and everything. So you get two personal guides who know the place really well and who are passionate about that place and about teaching you the culture, teaching you the language and mm. all of that. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a great time. We think you get a lot of bang for your buck because with our retreats. Because if you go and travel by yourself, sometimes it's kind of like, well, what do I do today? And you can just wander around and do your thing, but there's no direction, there's no format. And with our retreats, everything's planned out for you. You don't have to worry about uh, how to get to a place or what we're going to do. It's everything is there for you. And when I say everything's planned out, there's some free time too. You have free time to check out some things that maybe we passed something earlier and you want to go check it out more later. There's time for that, mm -hmm. but there's structure to the week. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it says, actually it was about, it was about my question about, I didn't know you guys were doing a travel thing. How do I get info about that and when is that? Oh yeah, so that's, all the info is in the description. My, maybe you want to double check. I think yeah. it's already there. I think I already put it there. Right there. Yeah. TravelSpanishConfidence.com The first That's link in the go. description. Mm -hmm. That's where you can find more information. And when is it? It's at the end of... September 27th September. to October 4th. Yeah, September 27th to October 4th. And we need at least... Um, how many people? Six people. Six people so we can do it. So sign up now. <laughs> Any questions, guys? I think there are more. Sometimes we go way deep into these questions. I know. We need to speed up. Uh, do you all speak English or Spanish at home to each other? Mr. Duckweed, that Spanish. is a great question. We speak pretty much nothing but Spanish uh, at home. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, sometimes when we're recording, it sounds kind of funny to hear my speak English to me because most of the time I hear I speak Spanish. Yes. And that's what I prefer. I get more practice speaking Spanish. That's how that we way. met too. Yeah. Like we met because he wanted to learn Spanish, and I was teaching Spanish um, on a website, and so that's how we connected. So since day one, it has been like our lives have been about teaching and learning Spanish, and mm -hmm. we get to do it now to help you guys. So yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, and we've had some long discussions about how much Spanish we should speak on the channel, too, because it's like, well, yeah, it's we're trying to teach Spanish on this channel, but we want more than that. We want to connect you with the culture and everything, and that's why we create these programs to 
help you uh, visit Spanish-speaking countries and help you get interested and, and a little bit more informed about the culture and cost of living and all those things. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit more easy to, co to communicate that first in English and then introduce uh, Spanish phrases and vocabulary and then kind of send people who are really interested towards our courses and our retreats. Yeah. So that's kind of the plan and mm -hmm. that's the deal with all the English that's on the channel. Whoa! We got another Linda. super chat. Linda Soto. Thank you Muchas so much, gracias. Linda. <laughs> Linda, uh, if you have a question, let us know. We really appreciate your su you supporting our channel. Yeah, that Thank really you. helps us out. Again, mm -hmm. guys, this is this is our full time gig. We're really just getting it off the ground. So, uh, all we're doing are working full time to to help create mm -hmm. even cooler videos. So and hopefully useful, informative, educational videos. Yeah. So thanks again. Uh, what else? Uh, so you were his... Yes, <laughs> I was. I was his teacher. That sounds like you were, you were a naughty teacher or something, <laughs> but you were never like the formal... I never paid no. you for a lesson. No, it was... We always say that this website where we met is like a Facebook for um, languages. learning languages so mm -hmm. yeah it wasn't like he was um, like he hired me to teach him Spanish and then we fell in love <laughs> <laughs> it was like hey we we met on this website and we met because we had a lot of things in common mm -hmm. um, so yeah yeah <laughs> that's how it went and we'll do uh, how we met video one of these days it's on the list what else uh, we got is it hard teaching a couple couple of questions danielle asked was it hard teaching him spanish was it hard you know it wasn't uh it wasn't because i think because we never had like a like a structured lesson it was never like a boring you know when you have to like take out your book we're gonna memorize this list of verbs it was always just talking just like we're doing right now but in spanish i would say something and if he didn't understand um, what i was saying i would um, look for another way to explain it sometimes i would use english and sometimes i still do when i know it's a new word or something that he has never heard um, i do um, tend to use some English here and there um, but it was always just Spanish and it was always just very spontaneous and natural and I think that's why it, it never felt like it was like a chore or like hard yeah you know? yeah, so, yeah. yeah I feel like I'm still learning the same way yeah. as when we met because uh, sometimes I don't understand something I'll say my what what does that mean or what's the context and then of this? reading sometimes like uh, sometimes when we have time, not um, lately, but before going to bed, we read a little bit in Spanish and he asks um, questions and then, yeah, we, we, um, we still practice and do things like that are going to help him learn more. Like the song thing he did, like the Bad Bunny uh, song, he wanted to learn more about like what they were saying and trying to understand the lyrics that's something that works yeah. really yeah. well if you want to learn more vocabulary listen to music and look up the words and see what you understand and what you don't so whoa yeah. maria maria oh thank you so much i'm blind i saw i saw some colors pop up i'm <laughs> blind as a bat without these sometimes and <gasps> thank you so yeah. much maria muchas gracias wow genial that helps us again. I don't. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but that that really means a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you very thank you. much. If you have a question, you are VIP to the top. No, oh, that was funny. <laughs> Naughty teacher. No, yeah. <laughs> now you guys are gonna have that bad impression of me. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Let's see if we have another question. Um, What is the what is the name of the website you guys used? Uh, 
Okay, it's, they're not paying us to uh, <laughs> <laughs> mention them in this video, but uh, it's actually italki.com. I, we I think we have it in, in the in the description. Yeah, yeah. I think it's somewhere there. Yes. Yeah, we have a link in there. Uh -huh. um, what is it? Get one-on-one -on -one classes with italki. We have it in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's funny, I didn't mention it right away because we're actually sponsors for them now and we would recommend them anyways, but we're also like creating videos that are sponsored videos yeah. uh, with them. So, uh, but yeah, they're, they're a great platform. Them and Lingoda, we both recommend a lot for online yes, classes. Yes. Uh, Lance, thanks so much. Wow, the oh, super nice. chats are just pouring in today. <laughs> thanks a lot. Thank Lance. you, Lance. Lance has a question. Just want to say I really enjoyed your videos. My wife and I went to Puerto Rico in May and transported a rescue dog back to the States. Thank you for sharing your story. with Lance, oh, that's, that's, that's so awesome. Oh. Yeah, thank you for doing that. That's uh, That really touched our hearts. We'll never forget uh, Chiquito and oh, Grande. Uh, she's already going to tear up. They really have a soft, soft spot in our hearts, and thank you for doing that. That's there are so many animals here that need people like you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm not gonna stop crying. <laughs> so Thanks, just keep Lance. going. Thank you for doing that, Lance. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, dogs. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Jaime Will, uh, he asks, why didn't you all have a Spanish retreat in Peru week? Puerto Rico. We are still thinking about it. Um, maybe we should just put it out there soon. Basically we need to meet a minimum for these to basically take a week off of doing videos because again we do this full time as our job. Um, it's a fun job but it's still a job so we still have to kind of weigh out, okay if we put this on are we going to be able to be sustainable by doing so. So we've had a number of requests for doing one in Puerto Rico and we we hope to put one together but they take a lot to each, put together yes. each one it's not cookie cutter by any means because every city is different we have to figure out different activities and tours and and all the logistics of putting one together so definitely not out of the question maybe when we get back um in november we can start planning something and actually we're kind of working behind the scenes to try to start talking to some local tour guides yeah. who would help us a lot in putting such a thing on. So stay tuned. And you can go to our website, SpanishAndGo.com, uh, and then Immersions, right there where it says Our Immersions, you can go to that page and then scroll down, enter your info into the form there, and you will be notified anytime we announce a new retreat. That's the best way to know or be the, one of the first to know about a new uh, opportunity. Someone said they tried Rosetta Stone and it was awful. <laughs> We've heard We've a heard lot a lot of, of bad stuff. things about Rosetta Stone and I I honestly don't know like uh, I know your mom was doing it for a little bit and she said she didn't like it um, either but she said that it was because you only get the images and then you're supposed to just like um, figure it out and it's it's hard when you have no idea. I know I'm still like, uh, <laughs> I just love dogs so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, we don't know. We don't know about the Rosetta Stone. Thing. Yeah. We want to try more programs to share with you guys what we think about them. Uh, mm. The trick is though, I would assume that I'd be the one trying it and they have to have an advanced level enough for me to yeah. get something out of it. So. Yeah. That's kind of the tricky thing. Um, we recommend what we recommend because it worked really well for me and, and from my perspective, they're yeah. good materials. So, uh, but, oh, David. David. Oh, David. David, David Morales. Morales, muchas gracias. Thank, Thank you, you guys so much. So much. Um, Mm, wow, although your purpose is to promote <coughs> and teach Spanish, you have done a lot for my island, so thank you. David, thank muchas you. gracias. That means so much, uh, again. That yeah, helps us yeah, a lot. we want to we want to teach Spanish, but we also want people to visit the places where we're going. Like we know right. that Puerto Rico is such an awesome place and the culture here is amazing and if someone is learning Spanish, why not also come here and learn about the culture of the people who speak this language? So mm -hmm. 
Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, and for me, <clears throat> for both of us, it goes a little deeper. We want people to connect with the locals here. I know there's a lot of people in Puerto Rico who are concerned Keisha. about <laughs> um, concerned about people coming to the island, mainly people not from the island, people from the states, and taking advantage of the people and resources here. And that, in a nutshell, is the opposite of what we really want um, to promote on our channel. We want to promote people uh, to visit and experience and integrate if they choose to move to the places that we promote because there's so much to learn when you step outside of your comfort zone comfort zone and learn a new language talk to people who have different backgrounds and different upbringings than yours i think this is really in a way like a step towards world peace honestly i mean it might sound ridiculous to some like oh i'm just gonna learn spanish and live in another country that's gonna somehow help world peace but it helps you realize that we're not so different from one another i mean we're all humans and nobody has uh, a better upbringing than another person in terms of the way someone's raised in a different culture there's different ways to grow up and be a solid honest respectful human being and it's not all the way that we knew growing up, growing up in the United States. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's for <laughs> that's for another video. Keisha is here. Well, well Keisha, Keisha. we miss you too. <laughs> yeah. Hope you're doing doing well after the the retreat with Keisha. Yeah. Well, Keisha is one of los pioneros our pioneers from the first retreat. So yeah, and she has a, a YouTube channel too about. Um, her journey learning Spanish. Oh, Keisha loves Spanish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so check out her channel. She's uh, okay. Oh, Missy. Hola. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> it's okay. You're late. We were a few minutes late too. <laughs> uh, Should we go back a little bit to see if we have some questions? I'm sure. gonna go. I'm gonna go. Maybe not all the way, uh, but. Um, let's see, do you see any questions here? Uh, we just see that we've got New Hampshire, Antido Boston. Antigua, Florida. Yeah, we did go to Florida. Wait, 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 in Puerto Rico. Oh, no. There's a Florida in Puerto Rico, I didn't know that. No? We, we haven't, haven't. No. <laughs> uh, would love to see you guys visit Colombia. All right, yeah. We, we want to check that out. Please wait for U.S. citizenship first. It's oh yeah, been, yeah. We've we've <laughs> <We're> waited. <laughs> we yeah. That, that's a whole. Years. That's a whole other topic. Too. Yes. Uh, Yermo, Leo is in the in the chat. Hola. Hola. <laughs> uh, questions, questions. Uh, let's see a little bit more. A little farther down. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Spain, see, yep. yep, yeah, we want to go to Spain, Costa Rica, Guatemala, that would be fun. Yeah, what Other... about old San Juan for a place, a place to live? Okay. It's just parking, it's so hard. Every yeah. time we go to old San Juan, it's so beautiful, but it's, it's a pain in yeah. the butt. Might not need a car if we were there, but, oh, somebody <laughs> else said, uh, you got it right, Arecibo, Aguada is your best choice, please, and from Ponce, don't come here to stay, it's boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll note that, that Ponce is boring. <laughs> San Juan is expensive, yeah. I've heard, you know, we forgot to mention that in our video about cost of living. We're really trying to talk about our cost of living and this side of the island because obviously cost of living is a huge topic and is different mm -hmm. for everybody and has a lot to do with you know uh, what what you're comfortable with in your life to me 900 a month for an apartment sounds maybe a little high because we're used to living in like much simpler places smaller places um, we could be comfortable in a studio apartment we, again we love it here but we don't really need uh, Oh, three three rooms, yeah. yeah, and but in San Juan, I'm in some groups in uh, on Facebook where people are talking about their places being like three thousand dollars a month, and that yeah. just blows my mind. But for some people, that's normal. Yeah, that's their standard of living. And so. for some people, 
our rent is like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so. others, others have said, oh, it's not much because we're not far from the beach. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a pretty good location. Mm -hmm. so. Compared to like what what you would pay in Minnesota, uh, for example, I think it's not that different. But, no. Yeah. Um, how often do you hear Bad Bunny and Anuel? AA outside every day every single day multiple times a day yes and that uh, who yeah. asked that uh, reversed reversed yes two oh two. every single day every day <laughs> and actually I wanted to do the La Romana video <laughs> for probably a couple of months and I just kept on having to put it push it back and now it's not really the in song I know Bad Bunny has another song that just came out and that was trending on YouTube but uh, La Romana is, is my favorite of his so far. Mm -hmm. We heard, I think the first song we heard over and over and over and over again when we got here was Caro. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then you started changing the lyrics to that. I changed the lyrics He loves doing that. Every song. Uh, uh, let's see. Quiero apoyarlos, pero dice que para ayudarlos la función no está disponible en mi región. Tendré que ir el sábado y compartirle el café. Ah, uh, Ben, Ben Gumer, Gumer, Mendez. Gumer Mendez. Oh, th thanks so much <laughs> for uh, wanting to support us on here. Um, you could go to our website if you want, and uh, just go to SpanishAndGo.com, and then I think there's a support us tab. There are a few other options there if if you want to support us. Otherwise, yeah, we'd love to meet you in person. That'd be cool. Uh, but if that's if that's too much of a pain and you want to chip in, I mean, uh, we really appreciate the support either way. So thanks for even just the thought. We we really appreciate that. Tim, when you were learning Spanish, did you ever have a breakthrough moment, or was it always slow and steady? Uh, who asked that one? Conan. Um, good question. I've had some breakthrough moments, but not in the way where it's like jumping levels, you know what I mean? It's not like I read about a concept, went to bed and woke up and it just like clicked for me. In some ways that has happened, but it's never like improved my fluency 10%. Uh, I think overall learning Spanish for me has been very gradual. I'd say there's a big chunk of time in the last, I think I started learning Spanish about nine years ago and that's when we met right yeah mm -hmm. in 2010 mm -hmm. and since then there have been probably a few years that I sort of plateaued I just get used to talking to you yeah. I know my vocabulary very well and in the beginning uh, when it was pretty much just my and I talking in Spanish when I moved to Playa del Carmen with her and I started meeting other people, I realized not everybody speaks like my speaks. And that was really difficult for me because I wasn't ready to understand the way other people speak, if that makes sense. You know, there's different accents, different intonations, some people speak faster, some people mumble. A lot of people, I mean, almost everyone uses a little bit of a different vocabulary. Mm -hmm. And so that was a hurdle. Mm -hmm. uh, but the more I started speaking to other people, uh, that, that kind of started going away. And, mm -hmm. and having classes on Lingoda where I was speaking I was to gonna say that, different yeah. Spanish teachers from different countries almost every single day, that helped a lot. A lot. Because yeah. you really have to open your mind to the multiple different ways that a word can be said. Mm -hmm. And that can be tricky. So mm -hmm. there's never been like a just leap forward in fluency for me, but there have been some like minor kind of breakthrough moments. Mm -hmm. um, it took me years to understand the estrujula grave. The accent, and, and uh, it, see the rules. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like one day that it just like, it's Right, yeah, I was gonna me. say that um, there are some moments when after months of like, trying to figure out how to use a phrase correctly and how to just use it spontaneously then it just comes to you and you're like ah so it, it clicks and then 
everything is like, ah, oh, yay, I know how to use it. And then you use it and, and yeah, it just becomes part of you, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> I yeah. guess. So, yeah. So it hasn't always been like, right. yeah, it changes. And I would be, I would be uh, skeptical of people who say that they can get you fluent in a very short period of time. A lot of people, I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with like diet pills, right? Where lose 10 pounds in a week or something. It's like, even if that were possible, how sustainable is it, right? Like you could, I guess the equivalent in Spanish for that would be is if you were just studying all day every day for a week to try to get to a certain level, it's not gonna stick with you for as long. It's like cramming for an exam the night before. You could probably uh, cram in a lot of information that's just gonna all fall out, fall out right after the exam. So um, slow and steady, I mean, it can be frustrating. I'd love to be able to tell you, you could just, you know, become fluent tomorrow. Yeah. But it's, it's a gradual process. Yeah, I started learning English when I was in middle school. So ever since middle school, I've been taking um, lessons and most most of what I learned in middle school and high school was like very basic um, and now most of what I know I've learned in uh, during college and also living in the States um, with Jim after we we met but yeah I mean I'm still making mistakes I'm still learning and I listen to podcasts every day and I listen to audiobooks um, I read a lot in English so yeah you just you have to be okay with the idea that you are never gonna stop learning and and that's not a bad thing mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jaime asked average flight prices to Mexico since it's not included in the retreat price that is so difficult to answer because it depends in a big way where, you where you're flying from mm -hmm. uh, average flight prices from Minneapolis I feel like I can usually find a ticket for a round trip ticket for around five hundred dollars I think mm -hmm. I recommend using Google Flights Google Flights is great because you can enter all of the airports that you're willing to fly out of to all of the airports you're willing to fly to and Google will figure out what the cheapest flights are between that combination so you, you could have mm -hmm. I think eight different air, airports mm -hmm. in the listing and if you're flexible that can help you find a much cheaper ticket also if you're flexible with dates obviously with the retreat the dates are fixed but um, in some cases it might be worth it for you to come a day earlier and have an Airbnb and then and then join us the mm -hmm, next day mm -hmm. so yeah yeah if you have any questions about the retreat or you would like more information um like jim was saying the first link in our description there that one the one that says travelspanishconfidence.com that um, you can go there and you can check all the information is there or you can simply uh, just send us an email and we'll be happy to answer your questions there yeah. at uh what's our email hola hola at spanishingo.com yeah, just shoot us an email and we'd be happy to get back to you. I saw my mom is in the chat. Hi, mom! <laughs> <laughs> um, when is hurricane season there? That it kind started, of yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the summer. We... Sorry. So yeah, hurricane season. Um, it's supposed to start um, this month, but we haven't had any rain here, at least in Boqueron. Um, it's been raining in other parts of the island, but here it's dry, like the grass outside is dying. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, hopefully it's not too bad this, is, this winter. Is that new? Mm, no. no. Oh, Melvin, is that you again? Did, did we just get another super chat from Melvin? Mm. That looked, oh, wow, Melvin. 
That's thank so you, nice thank you, you, thank you. Thank Jeez, you. Jeez, you're so generous. Thanks so much. That really means a lot. Uh, born in Arecibo, minutes from Cueva Ventana. We haven't wow. been there still, and we we really, really want, want to. to go. And out of all the places on paper that I've seen in Puerto Rico, it seems like Arecibo would make the most sense for us to be, just because we'd be within an hour of the airport in San Juan and the airport in Aguadilla. So mm -hmm. if you have any other tips about Arecibo, yes. we would love to hear them from you yes. since, since you're yes, he, from there. He was looking at Arecibo and he, he really likes that there. So, yeah. yeah, seems like it it's, would work well for us. It's an option there. Does the Mexican accent differ from the Puerto Rican accent and can people tell that you're from Mexico by your accent? Uh, yes, the Mexican and Puerto Rican accents are very different. Um, and can people tell that I am from Mexico? Uh, I, at least two people uh, have told me like right away, are you Mexican? Um, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> uh, she so, has the el nopal in la frente. Yes. That means she has the, the cactus in the forehead. I have no idea why Mexicans say this, but apparently if you are like so obviously Mexican, you have the cactus on your forehead. Yeah, yeah, it's like... That's what you've got. Uh, there, there's a, a similar phrase, uh, I believe it's, um, it has a, a similar meaning here in Puerto Rico, la mancha de plátano. So we have that in Mexico, but we say el nopal en la frente. So when you are like 100% Mexican, there's no way someone could deny that. People say you have el nopal en la frente. Um, if you say it in a in like a really despective way, it could be rude. Um, it could mean that you're calling someone like ah, oh, you're just like a like an indigenous person, which is like anything said in a in a, um, like a despective tone sounds very rude. But if you just say it to yourself, it's like yeah, I have el nopal en la frente. I'm very Mexican, and I cannot deny it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Hal said thanks. Thanks, Hal. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hal's in the chat. Están al garete los carros. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. Um, how would you define al garete? Because I've seen so many definitions from locals just in our comment section. So. Uh, al garete to me is crazy. Yeah. It's just like out of control, yeah. right? I feel like yeah. I've seen a, a lot of different ways to describe what it means, though. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so Did we miss? We didn't really put an end time. I think some people just showed up, but yeah, we'll we'll Let's probably see. wrap up soon. Do you guys Close. have any more questions? I'm trying to like go back. Uh, uh, talk about <laughs> how cool Rincon was, and I'll look for questions. Uh, Rincon was really cool. We got there. Um, it was about five, so the the um, the walk, the art walk, um, was not like on, like fully has hadn't oof, started, hadn't. What? The the que the, todavía no había art, comenzado. The art the art walk hadn't started yet. That sounds right. Yeah, right? that sounds weird. To Sometimes me. you speak Spanish so much, you're like, "How does English work again?" I think that sounds right. We got there before the start of the art walk, so they were uh, yeah. people were just like started um, starting to set up, um, and yeah, we we didn't stay much. We went to the um, um, beer company there. Uh, we had a few drinks there and we were just recording a little bit there because we knew it was gonna get super packed and we wanted to show um, we wanted to record more of other places um, so we did a few other things and then we ended up back in downtown in the middle of like the multitudes it was packed and it looked really fun um, when we're back I think we should just go there too to enjoy um, the whole experience because I feel like we we were just there like in and out had a uh, beer and then left so I can't really say much about it but it looked really fun yeah 
Yeah. Lots of people. So we've got a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Um, Linda said you can take a, a carro público from a new town in San Juan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that? The same okay, one. that's the same one. Um, okay, yeah, thanks for the tip. There's a lot of things that you can't find on Google or not easy to find mm -hmm. for transportation. So uh, that's that's been a tricky thing here in Puerto yeah. Rico. Yeah, we have like when we were living in um, Carolina before the first time we were in Puerto Rico, um, we took the transportation, um, uh, the public transportation, many times from Carolina to downtown to like all San Juan, and it stopped in the um, in the airport. So we know there is public transportation at least in the um, area metropolitana the metropolitan area mm -hmm. um, but there isn't much like on this side of the island so you you need a car on this yeah. side of the island Mr. Duckweed says Puerto Rico is the United States uh, I know that could be confusing when we're talking about that sometimes I say in the states and there's a very specific reason why so yes we know that Puerto Rico is part of the United States you don't need a passport if you're a US citizen to come here anyone can come and go uh, from Puerto Rico to the US and back no problem. I usually say the states because Puerto Rico is not a state, so when I say uh, the states, I'm talking about the states and not Puerto Rico. <laughs> Anything, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm not meaning like the United States and this is a different country. Although Puerto Rico feels a lot like a it different does feel country. Like, yeah. And we know it's not, we but don't. it does feel like a different country. Yeah. Um, um. Thomas said, could you speak for a while in Spanish, maybe otra vez the world peace story? Um, if it doesn't bother anyone, I could kind of sí. talk about that a bit. Uh, I know, we don't do this uh, I know. in Spanish. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. So I feel like we need to do a video about this someday because... Okay, bueno. Tenemos que hacer un video algún día sobre lo que es español. Spanish and go. No? Yeah, you can't really I, I, translate. See, it. you can't translate Spanish and go. <laughs> Spanish and go um, tiene un propósito más profundo para nosotros. Mm -hmm. Queremos conectar la gente con otras culturas porque, porque todos somos humanos. Tenemos que entendernos para respetarnos, para no tener miedo entre nosotros o, o miedo de extranjeros o miedo de de los mexicanos, o los puertorriqueños, o los colombianos, o los venezolanos. Todos somos humanos. Uh, hemos sido criados de formas diferentes, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Por la cultura. Es diferente en cada país, pero... Sí, para nosotros viajar te abre los ojos a, a otras formas de, de ver la vida y te das cuenta de que hay muchas formas de vivir una vida feliz, una vida plena, que no toda la gente tiene que vivir una vida exactamente igual a la tuya, no toda la gente tiene la misma religión, no toda la gente, su familia se ve igual, no toda la gente va al mismo tipo de escuelas o trabaja en lo mismo. Somos tan diferentes, pero al, al mismo tiempo somos, somos iguales, todos mm -hmm. tenemos las mismas necesidades. Todos queremos ser felices, todos queremos tener una familia, tener vidas plenas, tener salud, tener amor, y pues eso es lo más importante. Sí. ¿Y, ¿Y por qué vamos a, a marcar las diferencias? Sí, y mientras más personas pueden mmm, aprender o experimentar esa sensación de, de sentirse parte de la humanidad y no parte de un país específicamente, podemos llegar más rápido a un mundo más pacífico, donde hay más paz, hay más um, amor. understanding, amor, sí. Sí, entre nosotros. Y por eso hacemos lo que hacemos. Uh, queremos que la gente vea que, pues sí, somos, somos diferentes, pero somos iguales y no hay que tener miedo de nosotros. Sí. I hope that helped. So that's that's the world peace thing. Jaime <laughs> <laughs> para so, presidente. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Jim for president. 
uh, uh, Dartan Salo. Wow, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, uh, Dartan, uh, I, I don't know how to say your name, um, but thank you so much. Uh, Dartan Sal? D Dartan Sal? W? Thank that's you. A, that's a tricky yeah. name, but thank you very much. Muchas that gracias. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, what did we leave off? Appreciate what you guys do. Uh, thanks, Maria. Someone else said I state. I say states too whenever I'm talking about something that happened. Uh, oh well, <laughs> I think Facebook didn't want us to. Sh Facebook, YouTube. Or sorry, yeah. <laughs> what platform are we on right now? YouTube didn't want to show this comment because I think it says Toro Negro and they thought maybe it was a bad thing. You can uh, click show. Yeah, I see. I you did. did. Oh, okay. Yeah, you. Okay. Uh, Zim said, have you ever been to the mountains or the south? If you're interested in camping, I recommend Bosque Estatal, Toro Negro, and Orocovis. Orocovis. That's where they have El Toro Verde, the oh, yes. zip line. We have been, we have been there. Um, we have a zip line video too. Yeah, yep. yeah. But camping there would be awesome. I know. And that's one of my favorite things about Puerto Rico. And we, we have to be a little bit closer to the group that does this, but there's a hiking group on the island and I love to go, but it's almost always a two hour drive to get there and then a two hour drive back. And uh, they go every week, so we're not always able to go. It's like yeah. half the day driving. Uh, but I want to be able to do more of that and explore more areas like that. That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you, yeah. Oh, Luis Mari said, said that because Puerto Rico is the United States. Someone asked if the rent was in dollars. Yeah, yeah, the rent was in dollars. All yes. that was in dollars. Yes. Uh, that's that's kind of why I did the thumbnail with the dollars in the in the <laughs> thumbnail too. Uh, Let's see. She go to Friends Cafe, Cabra Tosta, and Bubble Tea Yum in Mayaguez. Oh, okay. They have horchata. We still haven't tried the horchata here. No, we should. Yeah, we should. I'm, I'm thirsty. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> Did you want to answer your question? I could get you water. No, we'll probably having, wrap it up it's soon. Having Let's see how we're doing with the questions. Uh, ¿Cómo están ustedes en Puerto Rico? Robert! Bien. We're doing well. Yeah. 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 It's starting to get a little bit hot. Yeah, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Anonymous X, beautifully spoken. If you're referring to our little spiel about the what World the peace. channel is about, then thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> um, un mismo propósito en la vida. Somos humanos creados por un mismo creador. El amor y la paz sobrelleva todo. Sí. Chocalas, María. Muy buen di bien dicho. Bien dicho. Muy bien dicho. Mm -hmm. Gracias, María. Yeah. Espanol y adelante. Yeah, that's how you can translate Spanish and go. <laughs> yes, there we go. Yes. Uh, finally, catch you guys in live for the first time. All right. Oh, bienvenido. Igo, thank you for coming. We're glad you made it. Yeah. Uh, What's a hiking group name? Okay, we need to talk to our friend because yeah. the group is private and I'm not sure exactly why. I think it's because they they want like maybe the accountability of like, hey, you invited your friend. Can you guys hear that? Wow, that's we put up with that most days here. Uh, the noise from the streets. Um, yeah, I think it has something to do like uh, with referrals, right? So if a, a friend refers a friend to the group, there's sort of that accountability. So if that person isn't like the best person then there's that accountability i think we need to talk to our friend yeah. because it again it's a private group and we would like to promote it we would like to have it uh accessible to you guys if you want to come here and join one yeah so we're going to meet up with our friend i think this, this weekend, weekend see. and we'll, we'll ask for permission to, <laughs> yeah. to promote his group because we <laughs> talked about this we would love to share the group uh on our site and like in, maybe in a video for anyone who wants to come to the island and then maybe we would just be the ones referring our friends to the group, uh, but it's not open. So mm -hmm. um, I would love to give you more info, but until we have permission, uh, it's it's top secret. <laughs> Sorry. Top secret. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is uh, uh, where is it? Um, where is it? 
¿Qué tiempo hace en la capital de Puerto Rico? ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál la, es temperatura? la temperatura? La temperatura en Puerto Rico. Yo tengo boquerón. Yeah, it says it's... It's 82 Fahrenheit in Fahrenheit. boquerón. 28 um, centígrados. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's really humid here. And someone said Las Marias. In Las Marias, it's only 77. Oh, wow. Yeah, Las Marias, I think it's one of the coolest um, places on the island. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful there. Yeah. Eli Agron. Agron? Uh, me perdí el live. We're still no, live. We're still here. It's still live. And see? you'll get to see the replay right afterwards. Yes. So. Uh, David, hey, este fin de semana se celebra la noche de San Juan. Oh, it's wow. this weekend. Wow. Ah, la noche de San Juan. And we plan to be there. De San Juan. So, Can you tell us more about la noche de San Juan? And if we, David? if you want to tell us more than what you can put in the chat, feel free to shoot us an email to hola at spanishingo.com. Uh -huh. um, uh, sí. <laughs> yeah, just asked to know because I live on the island and trying to get out and meet more people. The LK, yes, uh, I'm totally with you there. It's, the group is a great way to meet uh, new people. And it always seems like really chill people in the group. We've yes. been able to get along with everybody yes. just fine. Yeah, people so. from all over the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So we'll keep you posted. We're going to ask about that this weekend. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Hola. Están en vivo aún. Yes, we are. We're here. Los mejores líderes son los que trabajan con el ejemplo y esos son ustedes tu... Lo verdaderos Avengers. Avengers. Gracias, Domingo. Avengers, yes. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Domingo. Yeah, we... Yeah. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> Laura says it's really hot. The, it feels really hot though, yeah. You know, every time we say it's hot, um, we hear from our friend, like our friend Wiley, In he'll Texas. say it's like 102 and we're like, oh, okay, it's not that hot. It's not <laughs> But it's bad. different. It's a different kind of heat. Like in Texas, it's uh, dry. Yeah, I think maybe depending on what Well, yeah, I guess it maybe depends. Maybe if Wiley's in the chat, maybe he could say something. Yeah. But, uh, uh, But here is, it's so humid, like today when we were in Rincón, I was sitting there like in the sun drinking a beer and I was sweating like, oh, it was, yeah, it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> wow, guys, we're like an hour and 15 minutes into this live and there's 74 people watching. I'm really surprised. Yeah. I just want to take a moment to say thank you so much for all your support. We've gotten more super chats than ever. That really helps keep the channel going. We have so much more coming. Uh, we feel more and more at home in Puerto Rico. We've been meeting lots of cool people. There's so many cool things to see and do here and, and just know that this is just the beginning. It, I can't believe we've been here for almost six months already. I know. That's it's crazy. 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 And I can't believe we're going to be looking for another place soon. So. Yeah. In Puerto Rico. But In Puerto Rico. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave. <laughs> I like this no, apartment yeah, too we much. Just, we've talked about if we could only have this apartment in another part of the island, like closer to the airport yes. um, and closer to the group so we can go on more hikes. But uh, any other yeah. questions? Uh, it says uh, we celebrate at the beach or pool if you can go to the beach. You're supposed to jump backwards into the water like a truss fall so to speak. Ah, oh, wow. that sounds so much fun, like yeah. so much fun. Yeah, he We have a swimming pool here. David says when it becomes midnight, people dive 12 times into the water. 12 wow. times? Wow. In, like into the ocean. Like I'm imagining off of the bridge there in San well, Juan or something. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, well, um, who said that it's, it could also be done um, in a swimming pool? Oh, okay. Okay, that would be a little pool. less freaky. Yes. I'm not too afraid of being in the ocean. I'm definitely more of a mountains person than a But at uh, night? Beach. Yeah. At night, yeah. No, like when you can't see anything, no thank that you. That makes me think somebody was airing like Jaws in open water. I think like is in a pool and they projected it onto a screen on the beach or oh something. My gosh, no. And so everyone was just like in a floaty watching Jaws. Nope. 
<laughs> I would be the last person to do that. Uh, it says... Noche de San Juan. Oh, it's tonight. Oh, it's tonight. Oh, Let's go to the it. pool. <laughs> yeah. I have to drive two and a half hours to San Juan, maybe. Oh. Can, can we do it just here? We'll just go to the beach now. Yeah, <laughs> it's this weekend maybe, but tonight it's the 20th. I thought someone said the 24th. Hmm. Anyway. Um, someone asked, do you have a video on your visit to Lares? We're almost we're done with that one. It. And uh, we wanted to, I kind of wanted to go back because I don't feel like we did it justice. You know, like it was raining too that day, so it was really cloudy. We, I wanted to talk more about the history there because Lares is a really interesting little town with tons of history um, something very special happened there mm -hmm. um, El Grito de Lares and we talked to the owner of the heladeria but we we didn't um, we didn't have enough footage of like the you know like the the things we could show in Lares to represent like the history of everything that happened there with the um, revolution and the independence movement there. Um, so we want to go back so we can um, um, record a little bit more and um, make an even better video because right now it feels like it's mostly about eating ice cream yeah. and lattice is so much lot, more than that. Yeah, more than just ice cream. The ice yeah. cream was awesome. But so, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> We hope we can do the place justice. And even if we have to release a video that's just about ice cream, we'll go back and yes. talk more about it because yes. it's a really interesting place. Yeah. Somebody just super chatted Frank. Frank. Frank Ashmore, thank you thank so you. much. We thank you. really appreciate that. Thank you for that your means... support. Yes, I enjoyed your work. Cutest couple online. <laughs> Stop thank it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks so much. That really means a lot. It really helps us yeah. out. Uh, wow, I can't believe all the support we're getting from you guys tonight. This is so awesome. Yes. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, held for review. We're getting a bunch of messages held from review, but they're... Oh, I think it's um, information about yeah, the, just the, to, the, yeah. the show. show. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube is things. really trying to make sure that no one's putting anything nasty in the comments, which mm -hmm. I commend them for, because there are some people who hide behind fake names and... I'm never going <laughs> to understand that. Like, there's always people trolling and it's like like why yeah. why would you go and leave a nasty comment in like someone's video mm -hmm. i don't know and whoever the person is who always shows up as soon as we release a video and hits the dislike button thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah we also shoot us an say. email we'd yeah. like to understand where you're coming from with that <laughs> 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 Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So let's show Puerto Rican love and donate to the channel. Oh, thanks so uh, much, Anonymous. You guys are so awesome. You guys rock. Thanks so much. Discovering Puerto Rico dot com. That's uh, for the for the the um, event. The event. Okay. Yeah, from okay. the from the it's it's this weekend from the twenty fourth to the twenty fifth. Wow. Maybe we can do cool. it. Um, there was another revolution in Hayuya. Okay. Ah. And I'm reading War Against All Puerto Ricans and there's a lot of really interesting information in there too. Mm. Guys. So, yeah. We have one last question. Yeah. yeah. One last question. ¿Por qué la mayoría de la población de Puerto Rico viven en el área metropolitana de San Juan? Why? That's a good question. Why do most people live in the metropolitan area of San Juan? Uh, I feel, I believe it's just like, like in any other place in the world, like people go to the, to the city or to the capital because there's more services there, there's more things to do, like sometimes here in Boqueron, we get bored. I mean, we we have lots of work, and we're always we Inside always editing. have some something to do. So we don't really have much time to get bored. But even though we have a lot of things going on, sometimes we just want to go out and just like have something um, like close by that we can just go and do, other than going to the beach. Because yeah, the beach is really cool. But when you live by the beach you don't really go there that often mm -hmm. um 
and in San Juan there's lots of restaurants and lots yeah. of bars and places where you can go and meet people, coffee shops, um, and also for work reasons, I think, like, I haven't seen any, like, we're hiring uh, signs here in Boquerón or Cabo Rojo, but if you go to San Juan, um, there's more job opportunities there, so there's a lot of people who don't live there, but who commute every day because they work in San Juan and just um, go there every day. Mm -hmm. So jobs are there, fun things to do. Yeah, I think there's always places that people like to congregate and mm -hmm. some people just really like big cities. So I think all the big city people like to congregate. Mm -hmm. There's more jobs, closer to get to work, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. We do have to wrap things up guys because the camera's going to die and uh, we appreciate the support more than you guys can imagine. Thanks so much. Uh, I can't believe that after uh, almost an hour and a half of going live we have uh, 70 people watching. Well, it just jumped down. But uh, we're going to wrap up. Um, Jim, so inspirational. You two making the world a better place. Muchas gracias, Jim. Muchas gracias. Thanks so much. That really means a lot. Um, we're going to have more info that we'll add to this video as soon as it's over. I have to just real quick make the event. Uh, again, real quick. Our promo for the Guanajuato retreat ends tonight. So click that video, or click the link in the description and you'll get the discount. It's going away tonight and uh, we would love to have you join us if you can this fall. Um, and if you're here on the island, we would love to meet up with you in San Juan this weekend. So yes, this weekend, Saturday at Cafe Don Ruiz. 11 a.m. from 11 to 1. We're going to be there. Come say hi. We hope to see you there. Yep, we'll put the details in the description. Just give us a few minutes after we wrap up here. So, uh, thanks, Mom, and thanks, everyone else. <laughs> El próximo todo en español. Okay, yes, we're, we're figuring out the balance, but uh, if that works for everyone else, we can do um, maybe a, a half? live or maybe a half live Spanish, that would be a good compromise, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so, um, Maria, thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody, everyone who donated to um, our cause. We really appreciate your support. Yeah, the support has really been overwhelming tonight. So, thanks a lot. Y buenas noches. Nos vemos pronto. Adios. El sábado o, o este fin. Sí. <laughs> este fin? No. Sí. El otoño o este fin? Oh. Sí. <laughs> Adiós. <laughs>